And then this super kitschy poodle was $2. Hi there, welcome back. Today I have a haul for you and this haul is from Two Value Villages and it is a very small haul. So I added some bonus vintage items that were in fact thrifted from Value Village but were not thrifted on camera. But they are pretty great so I figured I would add them into this haul. And if you are new here, my name is Natisha. I'm a vintage reseller and collector. I have an Etsy shop called Fifth Avenue Vintage Co. And twice a week, I take you thrift store shopping to find vintage items to resell in my Etsy shop or keep for my own collection. I'm located in Saskatchewan, Canada, so all my prices are in Canadian currency. And I will also have what I would expect to get for each item in my Etsy shop pop up here on the screen. And I think that's everything. So let's get right to the haul. So I found this marble butter bell. It was $4.99 and it is made in Taiwan. So likely 1980s and it's in really nice condition. I pick these up whenever I find them because they sell really quickly in my Etsy shop. And if you're not sure what a butter bell is or butter keeper, you put soft butter in this area here and then a little bit of water goes in the bottom, cold water. And then you put the top on and it keeps your butter soft and fresh and you can keep it on your countertop and you'll always have nice soft fresh butter and they sell really well and this glass well i got two of these glasses and they were $1.99 for two glasses and i already have two of these that were listed in my shop exactly the same. So I'm going to add these two to the listing and that'll help the value of the glasses as well as probably sell them a lot quicker with a full set of four. I found four of these little mid-century modern juice glasses. I did sell four of these taller ones with this very similar pattern. If somebody's looking for smaller glasses to add to their mid-century modern glassware, these would also be really fun on a mid-century modern bar card as well as little cocktail glasses. They were $3.99 for four. And these were $3.99 in a bag and it's a little tomato mustard jar or condiment jar. They're made in Japan. Really nice condition with no chips or cracks. You never know when things are in a bag if you're going to open them up and maybe discover that they're not in the best condition. And there's some little cute little tomato salt and pepper shakers with their corks made in Japan. Having the cork in the bottom Let's me know that these are definitely older, probably 1950s or 60s. Probably 1950s. And the last thing I got at the first value village was this bundle of pot holders. And I got them for this one because look how super cute he is. <laughs> Super kitschy in a teapot with some flowers. So I grabbed them for this one, paid $1.99. I got these two as well. And one of my viewers suggested that I put these in a package as a free gift, which is a great idea. And that's probably what I'll do. Add them to a package as a free gift with purchase. They're also a great little bit of extra cushioning and padding in the box. And then this one, I'm not sure if I'm going to list it or keep it. I mean, just one pot holder, not a lot of value there, but maybe I'll find something that can go with it and have a little set. 
So that was everything from the first value village. Like I said, it's a really small haul. My total in there was, I believe, $14 and 45 cents. And in the next value village, I only got a couple things there as well, but we will get right to that haul because it's sitting right here. So I don't have to move anything out of the way. So let's get right to it. I will start with this beautiful little teacup. And it was $5.99 for the two pieces. It is a Foley made in England. It's got a beautiful chintz pattern on it. Really pretty, elegant, dainty design. In really nice condition, no chips or cracks. A little bit of wear on the handle, on the gold just to be expected. And it's got a really cute little flower pattern inside as well. And like I had said in the video, I don't know a lot about teacups. I don't usually pick them up, but there is value in teacups. So I kind of am now looking at teacups just to see what is there. And if it's worth picking up, I will pick it up. And I think even though it's just one, this would be adorable on a tea cart, maybe with some different teacups. They don't always have to be matchy matchy. So I grabbed this one and we'll see how it does. I found this beautiful bowl. And I think in the video, I called it Ursa. I don't know why I always, I look at this and I think it says Ursa and it's Vera. I don't know why, but. And it is made in Jamaica. Really nice hand painted design on it. And it was $1.99. It's a nice serving bowl. Not too big to ship. And I found this Pyrex bowl. It was $6.99. And it's in overall pretty good condition. There is a little bit of some scratch marks. And then there's some little black marks here, but I can remove that with Peak. I haven't used Peak yet to clean this up, but Peak will remove any black marks off of Pyrex. And while well, the scratches are there forever, there's not much I can do about it. But um, I do have a pink bowl, a little bit larger. So I will probably add this to my collection of Pyrex and keep it for myself. Maybe eventually list it, but for now I'm gonna hold on to it. And my other two items are across the table, so I'm going to reach. <laughs> All right. So this piece was $5.99. It's a really unique pottery bowl. I love the shape. Very wabi-sabi. And wabi-sabi is the perfection in the imperfection. It's basically what wabi-sabi means. And that's finding the perfection in things that are imperfect, kind of like in nature. And uh, I think that is some sort of a signature and I have not done any research on this piece at all. So I don't know for sure who makes this or anything, but I just thought it was a beautiful piece, really unique shape, color. And it does look like maybe it was made to be an ashtray. I don't think that a cigarette would sit on here and not fall into the dish. So I figured this would be great for paintbrushes, just to set a paintbrush on next to your easel. Really beautiful. My last piece that I got from Value Village in the Thrift With Me was this vintage hand towel. It was 99 cents. And of course you all know that I love my vintage towels, so I always pick them up when I find them in really nice condition. This one is a Dundee, a golden crown, all cotton, 
made in USA. I love the towels with the fringe. Those are usually what I pick up as far as the vintage towels go. And it's in pretty good condition, a few snags. I'm not sure if I'm going to resell this one or just keep it for myself, but for 99 cents, definitely gonna grab that. So that was everything from the second value village and my total in there was $22.62. So now I'm going to show you what I got when I wasn't filming. And that's only, I think, three more items to go. So this is gonna be a short video, <laughs> but that's okay. So I will be right back. All right, we'll start with this adorable Bambi planter. And I think that is a squirrel. It's definitely not Thumper, I don't think. Does not have bunny ears. Super cute, anthropomorphic. Little tiny chip on the nose there. Couple little paint chips, but other than that, in really nice condition. And it was $4.99. And these two very large solid brass deer were $9.99 each. And if you saw the video, you saw me pass up a pair of ducks that were $6.99 each because I didn't wanna pay $12 for a pair of ducks, but I will pay $20 for a pair of very large deer because there is a lot of value with the deer. They are very popular and these ones are really weighty and quite large. And this decanter and six glasses. I just brought one. There is Czechoslovakia Bohemian glass. $9.99. This was in a bag with six of these glasses for $9.99. I can't believe that they didn't get broken being in a bag, but um, yeah, it was all in a bag, $9.99. Really great price, I think. And no chips or cracks on any of the pieces. The stopper is in really great condition. There's just a little bit of wear on the gold and still the original sticker on the decanter. So that was everything that I got from Value Village from off camera. And because this is a really short video. I've got some more bonus things to show you. Some garage sale items that Wendell brought home for me. I did not find these items. He found them at a garage sale. And he, as soon as garage sale season starts, he's out there going to everyone he can find. So he brought home a few vintage items for me. So I will show you those. And he brought home these very large elephants. I shined them up and they shined up really quite nicely. Now, I don't know, I think these are bookends. What do you think? I'm thinking they're bookends, but they don't have to be. Good luck trunk up elephants. And you know, I don't even know what he paid for them, but I know it wasn't a whole lot. He probably under $5, I would think, for these ones. He found a couple boxes of vintage Christmas decorations. Really nice, very old decorations. These ones have got a lot of age to them. Garage sales are the best places to find vintage Christmas ornaments, I find, decorations. So this box has got two, four, six, eight vintage ornaments. And 
And I'm not even sure what he paid for this either. I'll ask him and I'll pop it up here. <laughs> so I do not know what he paid for those. I'm sure not very much. And then another box and both of the sets were in this really neat box. Whitman's Sampler Assorted Chocolate Box. I'm not sure how old these boxes are. There are some really great ones in here. This one is so fun. That one. Another similar style. These are all glass. This one is really fun. Sleeping Santa. These types are my favorite. This one's got a little bit of a broken section there. And then that was the last one. Yeah, there's two, four, six, eight of them in this box. So a really nice score on the vintage Christmas ornaments. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be reselling these or keeping these for my own Christmas decor. Either way, if I do list them, I probably won't list them until closer to Christmas. And three more items over here. These cute little salt and pepper shakers. They're Japan with the stoppers, super cute. And then some really well done hobbyist pieces. There's some vegetables. Which way do these go? Tomatoes. And these are ceramic, hand painted. Got the initials of whoever made them. Very well done, very detailed. And then some carrots. I love the carrots. Really fun. Some really great detail in there. This is ceramic as well, done by the same person. And then this set is a matte set. They were done by the same person as well, but it's a matte finish, not glossy tomatoes. And then this super kitschy poodle was $2. Those vegetables were each a dollar. This guy was two bucks. And it is signed. Let's see when it was made. This date is on the bottom of this under the sticker. 1974. Very kitschy poodle. <laughs> Really well done. I love the ruby jewels in here. So that was a few items that were brought home from a yard sale from Wendell. So that is everything for my haul today. And thank you so much for joining me. If you are new and you enjoy my content, please consider subscribing. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video, leave a comment down below. And until next time, I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.